The lessons inside of Philadelphia Church Saturday revolved around the three R's, recording, readiness, and resistance. Testers participated in worst-case scenarios involving police confrontation, situations that could happen on city streets in two weeks when the Democratic National Convention begins. City officials anticipating as many as 50,000 protesters daily during the convention. Area legal activists are making preparations to protect their civil rights. So we are trying to inform people of their legal right uh, to engage in First Amendment activity in the city of Philadelphia throughout the week of the DNC, um, which means protesting in the streets for a lot of people, which means uh, occupying public spaces for a lot of people, and we are trying to inform them of their legal rights to keep themselves safe in doing so. Legally, you do not have to show your ID, right? You can just give your name. It is illegal to give a false name. Over the last few years, it has been kind of better than it was in 2000 in the RNC, but we thought that it's better to, that everyone's educated. This is Joe Chivalli reporting from Philadelphia.